<coughs> now, Professor Hinkle was just about the worst magician in the world. <laughs> So, I put the magic eggs into my hat. Abracadabra, to coin the phrase. <laughs> and voila, the eggs have turned into... Messy, messy, messy. Where is that rabbit? Hocus Pocus, where are you? Bah! The only thing this hat's good for is the trash can. Yay! You dessert Hinkle the Ouch for some stupid ow frozen water. Come back, Hinkle. <laughs> magic? My hat magic? Just... If that hat is magic, I want it back. But it's not yours anymore. You threw it away. Don't talk back to your elders, you, you naughty, naughty little girl. And you stay in there, or there'll be no carrots for Christmas. But you can't take that hat back. I saw nothing of the kind. <coughs> Quiet. I can't lose that hat if it's really got magic now. It'll make me a millionaire magician. You silly children believe everything you see. When you're grown up, you'll realize that snowman can't come to life. Silly, silly, silly. Now, of course, the hat did belong to Frosty. That point must be made very clear. Therefore, Hocus Pocus was entirely in the right in what he was about to do. Get some data. I must get that hat back. Think nasty. Think nasty. Think nasty. <laughs> oh, you tricked me! No fair! The only thing Professor Hinkle could do was make a jump for us. <laughs> Fire. Well, isn't that all snug and comfy? <laughs> now, give me that hat or else. Or else? What? Uh, well, don't bother me with details. Give me that hat. <laughs> Some far out distant. You're all melted, the hat will be mine! <laughs> and when they didn't find Frosty and Karen on the hill, Santa followed Frosty's pad in the snow to the greenhouse. Wait a minute! I want that hat and I want it now. Don't you dare touch that. And just what are you going to do about it? If you so much as lay a finger on the brim, I'll never bring you another Christmas present as long as you live. Never? Never. No more trick cards or magic balls or... No more anything. Oh, that's not fair. I mean, we evil magicians have to make a living too. Now you go home and write, I am very sorry for what I did to Frosty a hundred zillion times. You'll find something in your stocking tomorrow morning. A, a new hat, maybe? Oh, yes, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry to lose and run, but I've got to get busy writing. Busy, busy, busy.